Okay. Uh, here we go. We are live streaming again. I'm just going to... Um, ooh. It's uh, quite, a, quite a draft. Blowing outside, man. I don't know if you can hear that. That is not a day to be going outside. Uh, thank God I... I don't have to go outside. Uh, so I'm going to get the um, stream up on my phone, just so I can make sure I can follow it. Um, Xbox has been attacking gamers today, apparently. Um, interesting to know. A bit disappointing that they... Uh, feel the need to do this i don't know the full story oh, i need to uh, research that right so man i've been working research that oh right so man i've been working okay right we're just going to mute my phone so i'm not kind of got some sort of weird audio time loop playing at me i can now see chat uh, I can see I'm in the stream. So, you can, I've deleted the stream I did yesterday because it was kind of a waste of time keeping that up there when there was no sound on it. <clears throat> so, if you haven't played this game before, it's a strategy game, Empire Expansion. Um, part of it is space battles. Part of it is kind of managing planets and money and building things, which basically makes you more powerful for the space battles. Um so I am planning on doing a new campaign. Oh, God, I hope it's not glitching. Oh, 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 might crash. Here, let's see. No, it's loading. Um, I'm going to get the other races for the game and uh, download those. So we can have a... I can do a game where there's, like, loads of races. And I'll probably do that game after this one so at the minute my plan is to take this system um this is currently under siege by the klaxon um pretty powerful got a lot of cruisers mark 9 cruisers there i think i probably need to build some of those myself um i don't have that many cruisers so I'm going to get that into action, in fact, now. Um, yeah, let's build one there. Um, and uh, I think, uh, no, that's not a particularly good uh, construction planet. Got planets, some planets are good at, better at building things than others. Um some uh, we've got battleship under construction there already some are not so okay i think what i'm going to do here is i'm um, going to line up a couple more things space port because that's going to get me money and then after that we will look at that it's only it doesn't cost that much to build cruisers here so i'm going to build two there cool so let's speed that along we'll pay for that now Trying to keep my money above 10,000. Uh, so I've got a lot in case of an emergency. Um, I'm going to bring... Jump gates are expensive. This is the thing. I don't want to build too many. Right now, we want to build a battle station here, didn't we? So what's that? That's a... Okay. These guys are blocking. These guys are hanging around. Don't like that. Um, <clears throat> I can't unconstruct that, which is annoying. I thought I could, but I can't. Scrap. No, don't think I can. So, um, yeah. That is kind of annoying. Uh, and Seoul is a 
is a good earner for me. So I definitely don't want to um, lose it. Let's get in cruisers here. Only cost. Let's get a couple more underway. Construction. Okay. Um, going to leave him to just be there for the moment. So just before we flip on to next turn, quick summary. These are the Klaxon. They're at war with the Marushum, who are going to be the next race that are extinct. These are the Meklar. They're currently at war uh, with these guys. Um, these guys actually lost their planet earlier. So um, I don't know if I missed a turn or went back a turn. Um, Sislar's their home planet. Um, and that planet was destroyed. Hey, Taylor Swift, Star Wars, thanks for popping in. Keith, good to see you. Uh, I don't normally do streams on Thursday, um, but uh, I'm doing one today. So this is Orion, which is the most powerful um, planet to control in the galaxy. It gets you a lot of technologies, this kind of thing. So at the minute, I'm kind of fortifying it. It's an outpost. I deliberately went and found it and took control of it as soon as I could. Um, something which I've not done in the game before, much to my dismay. Um, these are the Silicoids, who are a relatively peaceful race. These are the Alkiri, same. That what's left of the human empire is up here, which I gave a good pasting to. I deliberately haven't taken them out of the game yet. Some of their defense stations are actually acting as barriers for me, which is useful. Um, so you can see almost every system except for those in white um, are populated with something or other. Um, so uh, it might be worth me um, going to war and taking out some of these systems um, next, but... We're going to see what happens here. I don't know if I want to go to war with the Klaxon yet. They're pretty powerful. But um, they've got a big fleet here. And I could, if I took out all of these ships, I don't think he'd have a lot left. Um, but I could be wrong about that. So, And what he's got is pretty powerful. Um, my most powerful fleets are not immediately in the area. I'm building up the ones I have. See how we go. Yeah, he's bombing this planet. I think he's taken it out. Yeah, destroyed it completely. Didn't even bother trying to capture it. Just uh, decimated it. Look at that. So that's another colony gone. Now he's pulled out of my system, which is good. That's a pretty powerful fleet. There's four cruisers in there. Lots of destroyers, etc. Um, yeah. um, right, I'm going to take these five. Take them to here. Um, along with this. Actually, hang on. Let me, let me do... Do I attack this? What do we, we reckon? Excellent. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, done. Okay. And I was the only reason I was keeping that there was because it was a useful defense tool. But that as that race are no longer a threat. Um it's not as important. Now I'm not exactly sure what they've got defending that side. I've got a Titan here. Um, I'm going to keep it there. Um, everything else is destroyers and frigates. So, see, I'm building up defences here. As you can hear, I'm the pillar of hell. <coughs> really, um, 
I've oh, got this horrible, horrible chesty thing. It just won't go. And now I have a craving for jelly snakes. Um, not going out to buy them in this weather, though. Oh, four people watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, leave a comment in the chat. I wish I could rename systems in this, because then I could, like, name systems after people. There's probably a patch where you can you can do that. I know this game does have its fans. Um, so, I think that's probably it in terms of anything strategic I need to do. Let me just check my, got a fleet here, little one, big fleet up in Orion, protecting Orion. We've got one fleet over here on the Mechlar border protecting things there um i actually that was a big fleet i split it in two brought one part of it down here to keep an eye on these guys <clears throat> they appear to be heading back now into their own territory which is good gonna bring this guy to there um Let's get a warehouse going. And then after that, we'll um, just go back to trade goods again after that. All right. Cool. That's good. I'll buy that now. Uh, right. Okay. So, new battleship is constructed. Um, this fleet. Let's say that they attack that fleet now. They have a pretty good chance, actually, of, def of defeating it, mainly because of the Titan. Um, so I'm going to bring this over to here. What's in there? Yeah, interesting. And we've got... Yeah, they're looking at taking out that other, other colony there. Right, next turn. <clears throat> Almost time for me to um, attack Zoth. Might not be worth colonising that. <laughs> Turn 345. Oh, yeah. Taking out the last of the... Uh, have some scraps, weakling. Okay, I will take them. Thank you. Bye. Um, love the way he offers them to me. He says I'm weak, but gives me a free gift. Doesn't ask for anything in, in return. Hmm. Who's my foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Um... Right, okay, so <laughs> my uh, my deliberately bad um, Alec Guinness impression. Right, well, we might as well go up here. Now, this is the last of his kind. Um, we're here. If we attack there, low, low chance, see that? It's not really our primary goal here, though. Um, I might reinforce this fleet with a cruiser. Okay. And um, we could do with a space uh, factory there as well. Don't want to have to buy another one. Um, let's do all our moves. Got this one down here, haven't we? Let's move him. Let's get him up there. Because I'm going to be wanting to build some there. Okay, we've got three more destroyers. Let me bring them up here. <laughs> Choose production. 
So it will generate you more money. So anything that's got that sort of yellow symbol on it is good. I'm trying to get my money over a thousand a turn. It's currently 977. So I think if I do that and then I do, um, then I do that, that might well get me over it. Might well get me over the thousand mark. Um, just defending. Now I could go out and take out the klaxons while the numbers are low you see he destroyed all those colonies he didn't even try and invade them he just destroyed them which is uh pretty hardcore yeah upgrade um all right this space factory is done good bring him back then um how are we doing on here yeah let's help that what else do we want to buy here anything um yeah the morale here is a little bit down so oh we've, we're already addressing that though got a couple of things we're gonna gonna get in there so i think um they'll be good maybe get, get them some bias spears all right <clears throat> i don't really need bias spears on orion though do they <laughs> Rob Faulkner in the chat says, Hi Lance, just started playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Seems good fun with sea and land battles. Yeah, I'm pretty interested in getting that. Uh, it is only available on the PC, so I'd have to stream it like this. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm I am leaning leaning on looking at getting that. They do the dreadnoughts one as well, which looks looks fun. I would like a naval game. Would like a naval game. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, give you an idea of the size of a bigger fleet there. Are they at war with the silicoids? Looks like they're making an incursion, so uh, we'll see. I'm surprised the Mechlar have not taken this system, but. Um, and there's the Chrislon, that's the Silicoid homeworld. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this fleet might be about to go in the wormhole there. Right, here we're going to build a back military outpost just to protect our world a bit more. Don't want people, you know, crossing our borders willy nilly. I never, I never do open border treaties in this game. Whenever I have, I have always, 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 without exception, always regretted it. So I don't do open borders. Uh, right. Okay. Right. So, are we ready to attack here? Um, I don't think we are yet. You want to get them there as well, so just gonna we're just gonna hold hold on there. Oh, hang on, no, this guy needs to. Oh, this guy, uh, his orders are to come up here as well. Thank you. And then this fleet, their orders are just to stay there. Um, yeah, he's gonna come back because we need him. More likely to need him anyway down this neck of the woods. So let's bring him back. All right. Uh, 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 uh. I should have really played a sci-fi um, track off the back of my computer. But um, you might be able to hear the sound on this game if I play it out the speakers on the other phone. Um, Sorry, I mean at the speakers on the other machine. But I'm not sure um it works actually. I don't think it, I don't think it works on that. No. No. No, it doesn't. Oh look, look. The silicoids are on their way here. Look at that. Well, we can't wait. We've got to attack now. 
don't care. Right. Now, can we also move? Ooh. God, we'll take that planet first. Um, interesting. So what's he got here? Just like very advanced frigates. Not a lot. Um, it's not the biggest fleet of mine, has to be said. My bigger fleet's here. Well, it's interesting that... Oh, okay. That colony has now been taken. Um, I'm tempted with these to come back down here. So I think I will. Let's... There's his, there's his fleet. <clears throat> Wouldn't be the worst idea to try and take out the um, take out their fleet while while we've got the chance. Hmm. Tempted. I am tempted. Could drag me into a war. I'm already at war with two nations both that are on the verge of defeat but um that makes other races of you very very wary of you hey darth plato there we go the war monk <laughs> i'm such a pacifist in real life though um see now this guy's coming in to try and get his piece of the pie this is my system mate i've got my eye on this this is not for you <laughs> So uh might be that we might have a disagreement coming up here with the silicoids. I, I don't want to go to war with the silicoids, though. Um, war ups between the silicoids and that, yeah. A dog-eat-dog -dog galaxy. Right. I don't think the silicoids are dogs, though, are they? And the Marishama cats, so... Okay, so we're choosing research. These are the technologies. Gaia transformation. Okay, very good. Artificial life, bioterminator. I think I'll, I think I'll go for that. I've not had that before. Um, yeah, it can turn planets, um, inhospitable planets, into nicer planets. Um, now, we have... We're in a position to take this planet, so we will look at that. All I need to do is just deploy one of them. That's fine. So I'm happy to kind of sit here and see if he does all the fighting for me with this. Um, now I've got my full force assembled, I can I can take that pretty easily. I think. So, all oh, right, that's nice. That's up. That's upgrade. Absolutely. Um, waiting to see what to do with that one because i'll fortify that as soon as it's possible this system is now annihilated look two sort of three nice terran planets there um so i'll see if he moves out not sure if i want to be at war with three races at once but this one this race is their goose is cooked their goose is cooked they're done uh, right, minus three food. Well, it's not my fault, is it? Not my fault. Um, so, um, we need an alien management center before we do anything. Let's get that. Right, I'll buy that. And then I'll get some hydroponic farm for them um, and uh, we won't build a star base there we'll do it on the other planet okay that's done all right fleet needs orders Ooh, I'm just gonna hold off on that for the moment next turn okay gonna dash the toilet
<clears throat> okay, we're back. Oh, loads of chat going on. Is that Daryl? It is. Silicoids, does that mean they're silly? Absolutely. Um, silicoids are all made up of this kind of like rock stuff. They're kind of cool. Right, so. Looks like he's heading back. Looks like he's going. Cool. In which case, I think we'll 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 go in. A bit risky because the odds are not completely in my favour. What's he got there? What have I got? A lot of destroyers and a cruiser. Ooh. Okay. Favourable. Now I don't like that. I don't like those odds. Um. I don't like those odds at all. I've got four, six, eight destroyers. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's got one destroyer. His frigates are pretty advanced. That's pretty good frigates there. Advanced star base and missile base as well. Uh, let's go back on that. I'm going to just guard it, but I'm not going to attack it yet. I need uh, a bigger ship there for sure. Oh, I thought I was building a cruiser here, but I was wrong. Um well, we'll get one. It's, uh, this is very much like Total War with spaceships. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, but um, and you can do the space battles real time, or you can kind of just let the computer work out the odds and roll the dice for you, which obviously is not as fun. Um, now look, see, so these planets have all gone. They are now all part of the Klaxon, who are like a race of ants, basically. Um, and he's got six ships there total, but I know he had another fleet that was really big as well. Uh, we're going to bring this one in. <laughs> yeah, could, could all be about to go down. Could all be about to go down. You know, just declare war on everyone, why don't you? Let's just check on Orion because I want to keep, um, yeah, making this um, planet as powerful as potentially possible. Um, what else do we want here? Going to defend it. Oh, yeah, we need a marine barracks for sure. Uh, missile base, yeah, one of those for sure. Lots of defences. The Antaran race uh, will appear in the game soon. And when they do, they invade uh, a random planet. A random planet normally, a system um, that has, uh, that's owned by the player with the most systems. So last time they came, uh, that was the Meklar. Um, I... The Meklar Combine. I am now that player. So they're going to be coming for me this time. Um, right. What is our Facetti building at the moment? Nothing. Okay. So we need... Um, why are my frigates not as good as his? I don't know. Two, three. Let's get three of them. <clears throat> under construction i'll pay for those now um so we'll buy them you can buy them straight away they build faster i'm now over a thousand per turn which is good never tell me the odds attack <laughs> if i attack and i lose that fleet that leaves me really open on that flank so i'm not going to do that um as tempting as that may be uh, this guy is going to stay here for the minute because if I bring him down here, he'll attack. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, though, isn't it? 
tempt him out and then I can attack. Let's do that. Now, this is a bit of a bait situation. I move him to here. He might bring forces out to attack that. I will then attack him. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I can lose a space for it's not, not the end of the world, especially if it gives me victory. Right, next turn. Let's do it. Gonna go try and go quite quick now. Oh, well, in the comments, we got never tell me the odds. Okay, that's the last. Uh, I wish I could like name systems and stuff in this game. We're on turn 350. I think the game normally ends around turn 500, something like that. Um, yeah, or it can end when someone is voted supreme leader. Now, I'm going to... This is the council. And this is one of the ways you can you can win the game. Is if someone votes for you. Oh, the Klaxon and the, and the Mekla are up for it. I thought I'd be one of the people. It's normally the two most powerful races, right? So the Mekla have got 302 votes. They're abstaining their vote. Which is interesting. I actually want to see who votes where. So, um, so the humans have abstained. So have these guys. These are the Alkiri. Um, Claxon obviously vote for themselves. So they have to have a significant majority. So if I voted for the Claxon now, for example, I could end the game. Um, so basically, everybody's abstaining. Uh, when I was when I was up for candidacy, candidacy, loads of people voted against me um, and sided with the other guy. The the races that I was at war with. Um, okay, so you know it's natural for them. So it's undecided. So that happens every I don't know however however ra many rounds. Um, so um, the idea is that the the winning leader brings peace and prosperity to the galaxy but we don't want that way too boring now just to look here but you see he's coming to colonize got an advanced colony ship as well which is rather nice um and i'm gonna see if i can discourage him now these guys could actually attack this fleet that would be war and capture that colony and that that would be war straight away so we'll hold off for now uh, but over here we need to get we need to get busy he didn't take the bait that's annoying uh, he also hasn't attacked me um so i will stay as is gonna pay for that i'm hoping to get that cruiser there pretty soon uh, we have got these, so we're going to bring these over to the front lines as well. Uh, I've got loads of ships there, so we, we need stuff here. So they're also now on their way as well. Um, okay. So, meanwhile here everything looks fine. <laughs> I'm going to, um, how long would that take? Two turns. Okay. Could just do a little recon. So we're sending a ship to go and have a look at Harbour. See what, see what's there. Right. Okay. Let's keep going. Choose production. So it'll automatically, you can set your colonies to automatically build things if you want. So for example, I could do auto build on um city alpha Pri alpha city prime uh, i don't want to do that um so um the minute really it's all about building ships or making money i'm going to build three cruisers here Let's start that now to build the three of them would cost me 1300 so as i'm making a thousand a month i'm just going to pay for them straight away Put that back onto trade goods afterwards, which slightly increases your output on the planet. Um, and then we're done there. So 
if you go to these menus at the top for example you click on this one you will see all of your colonies um so while, while i've got six people watching i'll just give you a bit of an overview of the game so these are all the colonies that i control at the minute they most of them you can see are on trade goods which ups the uh, amount of money they're making me per turn sometimes you get some that are making you zero or in the negative because you've got every structure costs money to maintain so the more structures you have on a planet the more they cost now spaceports make me money so i might as well buy those now get them built uh, and that will increase the output of those um uh, this is the research where it's at this is my head of research person this is the technology tree so you can see what uh things you've you've got as you can see all these orange ones i have so doing pretty well um there there's not a lot a lot for me now if you can't you can't get everything by the way um so it doesn't work like that um but um let me yeah so then there's all the different types um so that's the technology tree this is the diplomacy uh thing where you go and speak to other races if you want to negotiate stuff this is the espionage um all my guys are set to counter espionage at the moment um to basically stop these are my leaders that i've currently got three of them assigned spaceships one of them assigned to a colony from time to time leaders come up and you can choose whether to hire them or not hire them um and they uh, cost money of course but some of them will make you money some of them are more about being skilled combatants that kind of thing um blueprints uh these are the current ships in my navy uh and what um level they're at you can also you can see their attack um how much they cost the command points they take which is um your kind of like strategic command system the more command points you have the more ships you can have but the more structures you build and the more ships you build, the more command points they absorb. Um, so if you go over that, you have to spend extra money. Uh, it starts costing you things. Oh, a, bit of, a bit of upgrading to go on there. So we'll, we'll do that quickly. Um, just check nothing else needs. Um, usually you upgrade everything in one go. That's the Titan, which is the biggest ship you can get. I think there's like a Death Star called a Doom Star. Um, but I haven't got that as a technology. So to upgrade all of those, quite expensive, but we'll do it. Um, that's going to make all of my ships better in combat. Uh, Soul Prime is now ready to... So that was a little overview of the various other menus, uh, which I hope was uh, useful. I'm going to put that on Trade Goods. You can see currently it's a plus 30, right? But if I go to Trade Goods and I take back here, you can now, that's taken it to 40. So if they're focusing on that, that's good. I'm also going to bring this guy down here. That's taking it to 42. I'm going to bring this guy here to 43. All right. Okay. So, um, fleet needs orders. That's the one here I've just built. We're going to take him to the jump gate. And then from the jump gate, he can go to any other jump gate in the galaxy. And again, we want them kind of on the front line where the war is at. So, we're going to bring him here. Okay. Um, right, this is another fleet of mine. I'm trying to decide whether to go to war with the Klaxon or not. I'm not going to at the moment. <clears throat> going to see what's up. <clears throat> um, yeah, here, do you know what? I might, I might build a jump gate here, you know. That's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that. Let's build a jump gate. Jump gates used to take eight turns. Now they only take four. Going to bring this one along. Now he could destroy two of those. Wonder if he'll take the bait. If he does, he's going to lose that planet. It's the only planet they got left. Only one. Um, I've got a research station there as well, but that's that's it. Hmm. So I might do that space combat. I just want one more ship there. Um, yep. Yeah, that's right. That's right, uh, Darth. There is a unit cap. Um, I'd quite like a game like this, like June. You know, you've got the June that's on the planets, but it'd be quite nice to have one. It's a bit like this where you jump around the universe and stuff. 
Um, I do have the new June game. Um, I had a bit of trouble getting on with it. Uh, so I haven't played it loads yet. I do have it. So. Demi. Oh, let's build an orbital shipyard. There we go. All right. Makes it cheaper and faster to build ships if you have an orbital shipyard. Okay. So we're back here again. Um, Clean these orders. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know what I want him to do. Go over here. And then we're going to build a battle station there. Or military outpost. Same thing. All right. Um, this guy is coming here, and then these are going to again go to the front line. So, um, now, uh, yeah, okay, well, well, we'll bring them here. Okay, still getting pretty interesting. I do have a fleet here that you know. If I decide to take action against him, I could go for foo. Um, but I don't have a troop transport invasion force ready to take on um, the Klaxon yet. I've, I've got them there to take out the last colony of the Murusham, and that's it at the moment. Okay, this space fort is also now here. Um, I'm trying to remember what I wanted to do with this. Oh, this one came from Orion, didn't it? That's right. Well, we'll bring him to here because we're going to need him on the front lines. Okay. Do we attack? What do you think? Uh, ready to go to war? <laughs> and let's see what he's got here. <coughs> okay, so the odds would be pretty good from that fleet. Pretty good from this fleet. Um, uh, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, it's not much fun otherwise, is it? So well, let's 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 do it. Let's declare war. Oh, look at my fleet. Okay, so I'm going to take command, guys. So we've got five people watching. Okay, so we're going to have a space battle now. He who dares, exactly. I'm going to take command so you can actually see what it looks like in the 3D. If you haven't seen it before, here we go. Uh, declaration of war. Yeah, we're doing it. Um, Possibly a bad idea, but so here are the fleets arriving. Chum, chum, chum. As you can see that's my Titan, the really big one. Here's his force of five ships. Um, yeah, so as soon as I press uh, start, these things will automatically go into action, but I can control them individually. I've got two Titans there. So we're going to start the battle, and um, like I say, I can move these ships individually if I wish. Um, I can do that. Now these guys are doing the big flanking thing, so I'm just going to bring them in straight away. Let's 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 get in there, um, and we can do this. We can go to camera view, and we can see it all happening. Look at that! It's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, there goes another one of the enemy ships. Uh, oh, this guy is taking a lot of fire, but enemy leader's been destroyed. Yeah, okay, so. They, they didn't go down quick, considering the numbers. Um, so the Klaxon are going to now demand a meeting. I am going to attack the colony. Uh, all I'm going to do is just deploy one of these. I've terminated. Prepare for infestation. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's all going to happen now. He's probably going to come at me from here because I'm quite weak here. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> better think about that. All right. Meanwhile, um, no, I'm going to I'm going to wait till the odds are better there. I don't want to lose that fleet. That would that now I'm at war on two fronts. That would be a bad idea. Okay, so my guy just went up here just to have a look to see what we got up here. So this means I can scan his ships. He's got a cruiser there, uh, quite a powerful one. 
so that does mean his technology is quite advanced all i'm just doing like a little scouting mission we're we're definitely not uh going to attack there so we we bring them back and we've got our fleet there protecting us there we've got this one here uh protecting us here but i'm going to move this fleet into action um we're going to need it elsewhere once that battle station is built right okay so now we've conquered this planet this planet is a frontline um planet we don't need it researching um all right okay that's the max food they can do is it fair enough so what we're going to do is um build a soil enrichment facility just so that they don't start dying out i'll pay for that now then we'll get a star base um, build that then we'll get a missile base we'll build some barracks uh, as well um, and then we'll see where we're at after that um, now i know that the klaxons have got a lot more ships than that so um they're going to be coming I'm telling you now they're going to be coming um so it's going to make the game a bit more interesting and maybe a bit more interesting for you guys to watch so that, there you go that was a space battle seven people watching now uh, uh you know i can tell the stream's more interesting when i'm actually in it i will accept the computer so these are the silicoids this is what they look like quite a gentle race generally um <coughs> oh dear <coughs> oh, sorry guys jesus christ i've got this horrible like stuff hanging in my lungs it's awful uh, the uh time for the nancy grows short right so um we will let's have a look now let's have a look man. Um, interesting that this guy's here. Interesting that this guy's... God, just, you know, maybe just move my fleet over here. Just to, you know, nothing to see here, but we're just uh, saying we're here. Keep 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 them... We're defending Orion, you've got to defend Orion big time. Right, now, I've got some other ships due to come there. None of them have arrived yet. Okay, good. As soon as this arrives here, we'll be able to attack that. <clears throat> um, I'm going to pull that out for the minute. There we go. Yeah, and we're jumping this fleet to the front lines now. I am a little concerned about this section and the nearest jump gate to that is okay what we're going to do is we're going to come to here and then on these planets we're going to start building some troop transports so i need a oh look at that marine barracks there for starters we're going to we'll have another star base thank you very much um and uh we'll have a space elevator too that will reduce the cost of building the spaceships. Pay for that straight away. Go to the next colony. No, not that one. Galileo Prime in the same system. And we want to be able to do the same thing. Um, okay, we're not maximizing the money here yet. So we're, we're going to do Spaceport first just to maximize monies. Um, then, yeah, you see, we can already build troop transports. Brilliant, brilliant. Then what we'll do is... The troop, the most up to date one is what we want. Put in for three of those. Pay for that straight away. Oh, we're down to 6k now. Look at that. I'm spending a lot of money. When you go to war, you need money in the bank. How are we doing, chat? Winter is coming. It is. Damn, Lance, lose a lung on that. Yeah, mate, you've done another half of it. Um, anyway, so I'm all right. I'm all right. 
<clears throat> I can't even afford to put the heating on. I'll be doing a stream about that. Maybe tonight. Uh, no, I, keep, I don't really want to open the bill. Um, now, here's a leader that's come up for, for um, Valentina. It's a negotiator. Um, she reduces the cost of hiring other leaders and uh, does a, a salary reduction. I don't know if that's all leaders. Um, well... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling her. So, pardon the use of the phrase. Um, so we'll, we'll forget that. Okay, fleet needs order somewhere. This one. No, they're just on the defence. So we'll do that. And where else? Here. <laughs> nope, they are going to wait until the cruiser reaches them. Uh, third one. That is now done with its construction. Okay, we are going to bring that space vault down to here. Uh, because we're going to want to defend this system. This fleet, a bit risky, but uh, we've got... Ah, oh, no, it's, it's very good. It's a good size. That's going to come here. Let's see what's up here. Um, we're going we're gonna to start our invasion. Now, I've got a second fleet here that's been dormant for a really long time. I think they're about to see some action, but we'll bring them in once I start drawing in his forces, and then we'll, we'll attack from there as well. I'm also going to attack from this stream here, um, and actually, I should, I should um, assemble accordingly. It's a bit of a nothing planet, isn't it? Cabala uh, Prime. Um, soil enrichment facility, we'll do that. Um, <clears throat> is there anything else we want to get from there? Yeah, we can build some troop transports. Three of them. God, it's really horrible outside. I'm so glad I didn't have any plans to go out today. Uh, how's chat doing? Keith. Wow, a lot of people stuck in while I'm making dinner. Yeah, the weather's atrocious. The weather's atrocious. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. If there's anything else you want me to show you or ask me questions about this game, if you're thinking of buying it, let me know. Uh, I do recommend it. It's pretty good. Uh, it will suck the time out of your life um you can easily be on this for hours you really can but if you want a quick game you can go for a smaller galaxy i always choose a huge galaxy just because it's more interesting um but you can do like a small galaxy and you can you know with maybe 20 systems and and that that'll come to fruition pretty quickly with with battles and things okay so doing our move oh we got we we're here look there's a klaxon fleet here Ah, just two of them. Brilliant. Right, well, we're going to take these guys out. So here, this is another space battle. I'm going to auto-resolve it, um, just because I just want to get past it quickly. And now, there are three systems here that we could invade, and there are no other ships here. Now, that, to me, suggests that his fleet is not huge, or he might be at war up here uh, and have a fleet up here. Uh, regardless, I'm going to take a bit of a risk I'm going to send this fleet down to Foo. And there we have already detected more ships. Oh, shit. There is a battleship, and it's a, and it's a powerful one as well. Uh, so that might have been a mistake. Damn. And he does have a battleship there. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Well, can't win them all, aren't All right. <clears throat> um, so we're now at war, war footing. So um, I'm going to get some more uh, ships built and build them bloody quickly. Uh, so we want, let's get at least yeah, five destroyers is good. Then we'll have a battleship. Um, and we'll have one of these. Okay. Right. And I want everyone on construction, please. So, and we'll pay for that. So that's coming straight away. All right, good. Um, Beat needs orders. Well, 
Okay, they finished that. That's good. That's good to know. Um, I see that's a human battle station there. Um, but it's great having that in place because he probably won't want to declare war on the humans. They're only up there. They're not, you know, they're not very powerful. Um, they probably populated all of these two systems, but they're not going anywhere. And uh, they're certainly not coming after me. So um, it's in my interest to keep that station exactly where it is. Now, this guy, I'm coming to here. Um, let's, all right, let's do this again. So if I bring this fleet in here, the odds are, okay, they're, they're, they're those odds are right. Now we're going to bring this one in. Oh, shit. I thought, he'd, I thought he could move. Must have just got there. Fucking typical. Okay, all right. Well, he'll guard. Um, these will move there on the next turn. Fine. Okay, and that's all going according to plan. Great. These have arrived. Um, has to be said, I don't think I'm going to need them now. Not there anyway. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to put them here. I'm going to bring them there. Uh, I've got a little ship here. All right. Um, I think that's the Mechlar Defense Force, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll just keep them together. And we're going next turn. Right, the humans want a peace treaty with me, um, but I'm actually going to decline that because I don't want him thinking he can come yomping around. So, uh, no. And he didn't offer me anything. You know, uh, there's got to be some money involved. So, uh, um, besides, he's voiced by the guy that does uh, Q in Star Trek, so, I mean, you're not going to trust him, are you? Um, huge galaxy means huge battles means huge fun. Yeah. Indeed. Right, let's see what happens. I should be able to take the Murisham out of the game this turn. So I'm going to move that guy in there. Now we're going to invade. Now, <clears throat> uh, favourable, but I have more ships than before. Should I take command? Um, yeah, you know what, let's do it. Here we are, my fleet coming in. So the odds are in my favour, but I think his technology on his frigates is slightly better. You can see he's got a space station there. So now, the first thing I'm going to do is move my troop transports out of the way of the battle. Um, and then, I think what I need to do is concentrate fire on that space station right these guys will concentrate their fire on the missile base okay let's do it okay come on come on come on Maybe everybody needs to target one thing then. Whose fleet are not coming after me? Which is weird. Um, oh, what happened there? Okay, the star base is down, but for some reason my, my perspective has gone really weird. Let's go to camera. There's the missile base, which we're trying now trying to take out. Oof. I think one of my cruisers just bought it. Let's go back. Damn, I'm still on this weird perspective for some reason. Okay, the missile base is gone. All right, that's good. Um, so now we're attacking his ships. 
there goes one of them mm, look at that cruiser that cruiser is battered so is that though Uh, his ships are pretty good. Um, right, let me uh, see what I can do here. Yeah, these are pretty maneuverable. These things. Okay, we got one. We took one out. Yeah, we took another one out. Okay. Ooh, I think that's it, and that's going to be it for that race. We're going to attack the colony now. Uh, defending it was quite a lot, but I don't think that'll be enough to take it. So we're going to have to drop some bombs. Okay, now we're going to invade. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, all right, bye. Okay, so that's them destroyed. Now, those green crystal things, that's Antaran ruins. Uh, again, valuable technology, so you build an asteroid laboratory on there. Uh, these guys are done. I can upgrade them. This is now a... Uh, frontier homeworld so again probably in my interest to build up its defenses a bit um don't want these guys to starve i'm nice like that you know so um we will create uh some biospheres for them and um a soil enrichment facility uh, an alien management center which actually i might pay for now um, and then defences wise, um, just a star base to get us those extra command points for the moment. So let's do the pop, pop that there, do that. Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's good. All right. So that's two races that are out of the game for good, which is the Cylon and the, uh, Mirsham. um, just check in the chat. Texas versus Rhode Island. I'd rather be in Texas. Okay. I do not understand the significance of this, but I'll take your word for it. So with our fleet here, for example, we can attack any one of these colonies, right? Now, <clears throat> um, I've also just arrived here. And thankfully, for whatever reason, this guy has not attacked me. So I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm out of there. <laughs> um, he might attack me, though. Now, I've got more ships on the way to this system. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, so if that fleet does get destroyed, it might get destroyed. At least I've got backup arriving soon. Um, my secondary plan to gather forces here and push through here is not coming to fruition at the moment which is a shame um, but we'll we'll see if we can get to that later okay so here the more damage i can do to him quickly the better i've got a pretty big fleet here with a lot of troop transports um and some titans so just a titan on its own for example um, can best any of those planets. None of these planets actually have got any defences at all, um, which is interesting. So, first thing I'm going to do then is I'll just send one frigate to this. Oh, okay, a frigate and a Titan then. Right, two frigates to this one. Battleship. Um, to here, 
right and i've got another titan i think i've got another battleship we'll put that one to here just blocking all the entry points okay and let's take oh, two transport two troop tr transports to each colony right now that one you'll see was in the red i wonder why that is um so what i'm gonna do is just up the number of ships that we're gonna pop on that planet okay and i think also another troop transport there all right let's see how we're doing here whoa I bought that. It's got some pretty good defenses there. Um, right. Um, any more troop transports left? No. Okay. So, um, I think this is going to be the biggest, world, well, most well defend, defended one. So, here we go. So, uh, we're going to drop all of these. And all of these. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So this is now ours. Now this was originally a Mursham planet, so these are not Mursham um, prisoners. Um, now these are Mursham prisoners, not Klaxon prisoners. Um, so we haven't actually invaded a Klaxon homeworld yet. Um, <clears throat> right, done. Of course, they see us as liberators now, you know, because we're nice. We feed them and, uh, you know, give them a hollow suite. Right, I'm just going to walk into that one. And I think we can probably just walk into this one. Yep. Oh, that is a Klaxon colony. Look at that. All right, so we've got our first Klaxon prisoners. Um, okay, so we took that system uh, almost without firing a shot. Just fell like that. The pink horde spreading throughout the galaxy. Okay. Um, I think that's it in terms of what, what we've done. Yep. All right, good. Okay. Um, right. So they're currently starving. Uh, soil enrichment facility. Uh, gives better food. Um, food bonus 25. That's expensive, that weather controller. Uh, but, you know, got to look after these people. Okay. um minus three credits you see that so this this planet is like actually costing me money at the moment just gonna build an alien control center there just to and um yeah right that guy what did he want to do where's he going probably need him on the front line so we better take him to the jump gate and now yeah look only two ships but good to know that they're there this is the fleet that I've got defending I'm gonna bring them to here now remember that is a human outpost so he declares war on the humans um, by virtue of doing that. Um, don't know what I want this guy to do. Um, probably going to need him on the front line, so we'll move him. Now, uh, for the minute, then, this is secure. So... There's quite a few ships that took a fair bit of damage, though. So the undamaged ships, I'm going to ready to move. The 
the rest will stay there. Um, let's move the star base up on the agenda there. That will get the repairs done a lot faster. <coughs> Oh, I see. Texas is huge. Yeah. Right. He did force combat here. Um, now, the odds against me here are bad. Two battleships and a cruiser and a military outpost. Um, if I retreat, they're all going to get destroyed. I'm going to take command, and I'm probably going to lose. Um, so we're going to see what I can do if anything damage wise um we're gonna we're gonna pull back and let him come to me okay he's not gonna come to me that's annoying so i was hoping to do is avoid the um space station there I mean, we could probably take this the space station out. It's the weakest thing, but um, that will definitely not result in um, victory. Oh, God's sake. Right, see, look at all this now. Whoa. Oh, man, he took one of my ships out there and then. Look at that. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Oh, that one's gone. That one's gone. Oh, this is a uh, ram. I'll put them on ram. Don't know if they'll be able to take it out. Probably not. Oh. Yeah. So. His uh, battleships are pretty good. That's my first uh, space defeat in quite a while. Not my not my first in the game. But uh, he took out my... So I'm assembling another force here. So even if he comes at me, I've got a chance of holding him off for a bit. Right. right. Meanwhile... This fleet also needs to get to the front line, so we're going to um, want to bring them here. That was a very long-winded way of getting there. Uh, see that fleet there, look. Right. I need more jump gates. At least my command points are leveled leveled out. Uh, had more fun in Texas than when I ever went to college in Rhode Island. I bet you did. But them Texan girls were a lot of fun, man. I went to a cowboy bar. That was very, very, very cool. Really enjoyed it. It was good, good fun. Now, I don't want to spend too much money because we're at war. So, <clears throat> this guy is on minus seven. Let's have a look at what we've got here. <sighs> it's costing me a lot of money, man. Hardly worth it, is it? Hardly worth it. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to dump a load of stuff here. So, we're going to scrap that. Gonna scrap that, don't need that. And we're gonna scrap that. And then we're gonna put him on trade goods. 
and that, I think that at least means you. Oh no, still at minus one. For fuck's sake. Hardly need the alien management centre, do I? Um, right. <laughs> okay, I think um, we need a uh, to bring these together. Got a battleship there. I feel like I should leave that behind. Um. I'll leave a little little force here. Don't want a battleship on its own. Um, all right. Bring them together. How are we doing? Time quarter past seven. I'm going to play this till about 8 o'clock UK time. So for about another 45 minutes. Um, okay. Mm. So, uh, now these guys. Yeah. Bring that up to here. Oh, I've lost my defence force on the on the Damia line. I don't like that. That's now very vulnerable. This system. It's a back door to my home world as well. So um, we also need more command points. Uh, so looking at the system I just conquered. Right. Let's pay for that because then we can get the star base up and running. Um, does this also have a star base? No. Let's shift that and pay for it now. So we can do that and move that there. Swap that over. That's going to give us command points. Um, I'm going to put that on. Um, I'm going to put that on, hang on, look at this over here, destroy up, yeah, he's, he's building there, he's building, this used to be part of the human empire, no more. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Snotty. Right, okay. Let's try and uh let's try and rock through this a bit quicker. Um Yeah, this needs to come to this system because I need to build a jump gate there so I can get reinforcements to the front line a lot faster. Now, at this stage, we can probably dispense with that. And we can potentially dispense with this as well here. Um, but I won't do that yet. Just want to see. I want to make sure we don't have a sudden emergency. Um, where suddenly a huge force of his is on his way. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to buy that. Take this guy out. Look, man, it's not my fault you're starving, is it? If you're, you know, not making your food. Um, okay. I probably will keep, keep this fleet here, I think. Um, we can put them, we can put them there. Okay, next turn, here we go. Now, I'm not supposed to eat during a stream, but I am about to have a cookie. Ginger nut biscuit, they're the best. Mm. Um... Buy 
Nero Terminator. Oh, I'll go for the Universal Antidote. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, just eating cookie. Cookie? Oh, cookie's just the best invention. Oh, look. Now, scouting around. Ah, oh, yeah, and you can see the Mechlar have taken his home world. There it is. No longer controlled by him. Um, so they've either destroyed it or taken it. And I think this system was his as well. So um, it's not in my interest to take these guys out, by the way, because that just makes the Mechlar, who are very powerful, even more powerful. And I'm already at war with the other most powerful race. So better he focuses on, on them for the moment. Right, so, what's up here? Pretty powerful battle fleet there. Five cruisers against my um, force comparatively weedy. Uh, he's about to start building a um, defense system there. Right. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave one of my Titans with this group. <coughs> I think... Um, maybe, I don't think anybody else, though. <coughs> if I can take this system, that will effectively isolate this one, um, which... It's good for me. <coughs> oh dear. Okay. Big fleet here now, look. Ready to go into Foo. So, Gayo Prime. Oh yeah, we'll pay for that. More command points. Um, and we'll pay for those because we need them done. That's good. Um, they're the Mechlar. No, 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 they're not the Mechlar. No, 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 yeah, they are. They're the Mechlar Defense Force. They stay there. Okay. <laughs> did I eat all that cookie already? Yes, I did. Okay, time for second cookie. How are we doing in the chat? We're still on Texas and barbecues. Various things about Texas. Uh, Texas Rangers. I quite, I quite like that film, that film Texas Rangers, the one with uh, Dawson's Creek guy. Quite enjoyed that, that was all right. With a little bit, you know, silly, with the, the sort of defence fort thing at the end. Oh, Jesus, look at that. See that? That is a Mechlar Titan. And it has arrived here on my border. Um, and that is probably what is rampaging their galaxy at the moment. Um, and it looks like that fleet has gone. So, um, I'm going to send my factory out of here because I need him elsewhere. And uh, <clears throat> I 
think I'd better put these here. Mm. What type of Titan is it as well? Type 3 Titan. Nasty. So he's clearly bombing that, sieging that, um, that planet. Kabala Prime. Mm. Okay, so tentatively bringing these up here this is a very small fleet so it's quite dangerous but i'm hoping hoping it will be distracted elsewhere right Okay, that is a big fleet. The wow, wow, that is that is the fleet there. That's the big fleet. Now, if they come for me, let's just check. No defenses there on either of those. So. I'm going to take everything else out of here, except for what, what I need immediately, and bring it back to here. Okay. Hmm. All right. And I have now finished my cookie consumption. All right, Texas Rangers, oldest state for, state side um, government law enforcement agency. Hmm. I might actually do this. Um, right, let's see if we can take these. Nice. Every planet of his I take costs him money. So that system fell to me. <clears throat> with that shot being fired. Um, now, this is clearly most of his forces. That has got a total firepower of 753. Um, damn. Even my forces combined here are not as powerful as his. So I need more ships there, and I need them quick. So now what we need to do is inst institute a massive uh, ship building program. Um, again, yeah, get those ready now. <clears throat> um, okay, done. Um, Right, this fleet needs to go there too. Six turns, <sighs> Jesus Christ, that's a long time. <clears throat> I 
Now, these are the planets I've just literally just conquered. So, Alien Management Center. Um, followed by Starbase on that one. And then the next one. Just, um... It's only got one building anyway, isn't it? me anything all right threatening fleet detected yeah that's not that threatening this is my most powerful fleets here so just on trade goods on here Right, okay, let's let's do this. Let's, let's go, let's go. Next turn. Let's see what he does with his fleet. Is he moving it towards me? What's happening? He's not. He's moving it out. That's interesting. Spies. Damn. Okay. I see. Game's getting a bit glitchy. No, I might have to use my mouse from the other computer. This is um gotta turn my mouse off and on again. Hold on a second. See if we can get the mouse to work again. Um, oh yeah, let's upgrade. Upgrade everything. Just want to move that there. Do, do the same with that again. Yeah, look at our money, it's gone right down. Wars are expensive. Wars are expensive. But we took another system. And I think we can probably take this one. And my total combat in that one is that's a three grand fleet. He's just moved to here. So two, three, four turns to get to there. So, um, okay, cool. Let's see what I can do to wreck him in the meantime. Because <clears throat> once that fleet 
comes. Seven thousand points. That that is a lot of combat points. Okay, right. Got my mouse back on the other computer. Right. Um, we haven't got a lot of money to spend, so we just got to consolidate what we have. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's an Earth station. No, we're just guarding. Damn, this must be the last of his forces then, because if he's... Oh, no, 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 he could have stuff down here. Oh, he's got something. That's a scout ship. Yeah, down to four systems. That race is close to defeat. Um, okay, good. More ships out for bring them to the front line. Let's get them going up there. Uh, yeah, we need that jump gate there quickly. Okay, yeah, let's get you on the go. How are we doing? Okay, repairs are underway, which is good. Check the chat. Oh, hit the like button. Yes, please. Frozen margarita machine was invented in Texas. Yeah. Well, I do like Texas, actually. I, I really liked it. And I, was, uh, I have to say, I really did like it. I thought it was very beautiful. But, man, downtown um, uh, Dallas. Oh, man, that was a dangerous place. That was Proper dangerous, man. Proper dangerous, that place. I would not want to go there at night. I'll tell you now. I would not want to go there at night. Right, okay. So here we've got a contact. What's he got? What's he got? Not a lot. Right, let's take them out. We are at war after all. Right, good. So... Um, <clears throat> bit of hit and run here at the moment because um, <clears throat> oh, he's moved that fleet back again look at that moved it back move this to here I think. now I thought that there would be Look at the defences on that planet. And that's just... Um, I mean, that's probably the space defences. So if I attack that, I'm going to get proper mullered. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to attack that, though. And then I'll link up with this other force coming in. So they're going to go there as well. All right. Uh, research, structural analyzer, great. I make my blueprints, yeah, very good. Um, advanced robotics, what's that? Battle station, yeah. Oh, can't upgrade all because I haven't got enough money, have I? No. Right. Okay. Let's go. See production. We're really low on money now. Um, let's get you back on the money. All right. <clears throat> We're kind of hitting the max of our 
limit when it comes to um, ships. So I'm going to send that one to there. He's finished a jump gate, which is good. Um, but we still need a jump gate on the front lines, which we don't have, annoyingly. I'm going to bring that one to here. All right. Now, I think now, though, we are safe to deconstruct that battle station. And if you watch the command points up here, when I scrap it, they will go up. Or, or this number will go down, rather, 240. Because they are expensive, these battle stations. Right, so we're going to scrap that one as well. Um, <clears throat> now, I could scrap this one, but I'm not going to, because that, that's the front line. It's not stable yet. Um, just keeping an eye on what's going on here. Uh, And don't forget, we, we've still got a massive fleet um, of 3,000 points up in Orion. Uh, if I take that out of there for, for combat operations elsewhere, um, they're going to come for that. So that's not um, okay, unfortunately, to do that. Um, hmm, I'm going to pull this to here. I, I want to avoid them getting into combat with that fleet because that fleet will decimate them. My fleet's not powerful enough to take that fleet on. That's why I'm trying to bring more ships together. Um, right, this guy is done. Okay, yeah, good. Jump gate. Sorted. Uh, I'm going to bring him down to... We need a jump gate down here, so I'm going to bring him down here. <laughs> How are we doing on time? What's happening? Quick, hit the like button. Thank you again. Uh, we're coming up to twenty to eight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night on this pretty soon and go and cook my dindins. Mm, it's taking its time. <laughs> Open Borders Treaty, not a chance. Because then he'll come wandering around um, with his ships. Right. Okay, so he's built his battle station here. That fleet is pretty mean. <coughs> and that fleet will come to take this stuff back when it's ready. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna build defenses for this m main colony. I'm not so worried about the others. Um, could take these guys off and take them to the other planet. I can't pay for that now. Right. Okay, now I'm surprised he's not brought that fleet down. So I'm going to try and take out his colonies um, and reduce his income. And we're now sieging this colony. Okay, so we'll see if he moves. This ship, um, I'll bring up here as well. Right. Um, that will resolve that. Took that out. 
nice. Um, it's weird that um, combine those together, bring these in, combine those together. Now, um, no, not that one. All right, so that fleet. Mm, he, he, what, what's he got here? That's so powerful. Must have um, the full. Oh, he must have orbital batteries as well, probably. Maybe some new technology that I don't have. That's also possible. Um, something's going to need to go down to even the odds there. So I'm going to send um, one battleship to do that. Uh, this one, that's a klaxon base, is it? Right, okay. Um, I'm quite happy to keep that in, in situ at the moment. I'm going to bring this fleet over here. Yeah, I'm going to keep upgrading stuff. <laughs> Getting exciting. Well... Maybe not for you <laughs> watching. I don't know how exciting it is watching this. Um, we shall see. Mm, yeah, he bought that. He's moved his fleet. I saw that. The Antarans now, they could be coming for me on this occasion. So these are the alien race that are from the parallel galaxy. Um, now I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing them on the board. Let's just um, look around a bit. I'm going to bring this uh, battleship to here. Um, we are going to destroy this completely, nearly, nearly. Um, <clears throat> could bring these up here but that alien force is coming I know it is so I'm not going to they'll be vulnerable on their own even with that one ship uh, these have to wait so put them all together see in with that it's still not enough that is odd that is odd um two cruisers here spare uh, we really need them don't have a jump gate there which is very annoying we do have one here though so i'll probably take them to there um, now how many people are here still a lot right eight thousand combat points look at that <laughs> That is that is a lot. I think I need to bring down some of my forces from Orion because if he attacks me there, I'm really in trouble. Um, how's how big is this force here? Okay, yeah, not too bad. Um, and Orion's um. Defences are looking pretty good, so we'll keep up with that. Um, I'm going to bring down two cruisers and a battleship. We need you for the war effort you're coming here now I want to build a battle station here 
So we'll start that construction, which might actually lure his fleet out. Which, I mean, in theory makes them more vulnerable, but um, they're not that vulnerable because they're pretty bloody good. Um, right, what can we build? More ships, I think. Yeah, this is not a great shipbuilding place, though. Um, let's build an advanced data center. It's not a huge planet, is it? Really? Um, I'm quite happy to put this back onto um, trade goods for now. Right. Well, I'm going to put them at the jump gate. I've got the option of moving them around then, haven't I? <coughs> see for now keep them there next turn okay we're 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 coming up to eight o'clock hey blibbity blop how you doing buddy good to see ya i think i'll take it to turn three six five and then i'm going to call it i was hoping to sort of like get to my next major fleet action oh look at that you see that he split his fleet up there split his fleet up that's because i'm destroying his colonies and he wants to come after me um so yeah he's taken that's most of his firepower um that's an invasion force so he's probably banking on me not coming after him now i'm going to move most of these i'm going to split this force this is not a big force these guys are going to decimate this sorry mate oh you are joking it's still there come on man okay um <clears throat> I have a feeling oh, actually no no he didn't come after me when he could have done so it's going to take him one two three turns to get here by which time I can decimate one turn and I can send him this way which I kind of want to do so I can just be a pain in his ass and go around and decimate all of these colonies um but uh we'll see see what he does right. uh, all good mate okay good to know weather's terrible today isn't it i know you're in london so you know what I'm talking about. As you can hear, my voice is um, a little bit croaky still. Um, see we're coming over Chrysalon flying over it so we get we can detect uh, his ships as we're passing that's his home world the silicoid home world it's just nice they got a colony all the way over here look now these guys are still hanging on here 
just a little war here. Oh, holy shit, look at that. That's a big force there now. That's why I've got this force here, but compared to that, double my firepower there. So if he came at me, I'd, I'd want to avoid combat, really. Um, that's a human outpost there. I'm going to um, move this away, update my fleet. Now, nah. there we go. Still no chance against them. Uh, I don't like the fact that I'm... Um, the bigger your system gets, the harder it is to control. Right, we're going to take these bastards out now. See you later. Right, you're gone. Um, right. So. Right. Nice. The Klaxon have been eradicated from Foo. And that was quite strategically important because of the space lane access that it has. Um, now, ideally, bringing that fleet back together. Now, the problem with moving this fleet away this way is it is... I think it's one of the most, is it? It's not my Titan fleet, is it? No, okay. But it's a powerful fleet. It does make me very spread. <clears throat> now, this guy was brought down specifically to deal with this problem. Um, let's see. Let's see what they got. Yeah, thought so. Orbital batteries balanced Ooh. <laughs> well okay let's do what we resolve that could have gone the other way All right, i want this colony and i want it intact so yes another one falls okay let's um get these guys working They're starving because there's been a bit of a war. Right. And that force is now freed up, which is good. So I'm going to bring them back to this system. And it's interesting that he's pulled out of here um, with a lot of his forces. Because if I could go in and take out that, that would be pretty good for me let's see what happens i really don't want to quit playing but i am going to quit playing in a sec um zubak prime mm. okay right i think this is where we're going to call it call it a halt to the to today he's the force lance Moss eyes the spaceport yeah um so we're gonna just finish these these t these little things um orion nicest planet in the galaxy um yeah i'll probably ship yard why not um oh, some barrack uh some armor barracks gonna make it very difficult to take this place uh yeah, that works. Um, good. That jump gate is complete. That's good. Uh, right. Right, this guy needs to come and build something here. Yeah, he needs to come and build a battle station there. 
Not sure what to do with this one. Um, send this guy around here. Um, <clears throat> I'll go in there for a minute. Right, next turn. Okay, so we're going to save it there. game yep and now we're going to exit the game so guys i've got my special stream on sunday at eight o'clock five days at memorial special um the superb drama series uh about hurricane katrina uh which is absolutely fantastic if you haven't seen it um, I thoroughly recommend it. It's on Apple Plus. Um, let's just look at some of the comments uh, that we've had. We had uh, Taylor Swift Star Wars here. Rob Faulkner. I commented on these earlier. Um, Lance the Warmonger. Um, yeah, Silicoids. Daryl popping in, uh, as always. Darth Plato. Never tell me the odds attack. I did actually do. I took his advice there, and I started a war a lot of people snuck in while i was having dinner they did indeed and then we had the big texas discussion daryl coming in with the details there liberty blop nice use the force always so guys um yeah i'm back on sunday uh, i've definitely got one guest coming on from the cast from five days at memorial maybe two uh, it's going to be interesting. I've put back my special bulletin stream by a week because I'm hoping to do um, a Hillsborough um, stream on the Sunday um, about uh, two shows about the same subject. Um, so I will see you guys later. Oh, one of my packages from Amazon has arrived. So that's probably in the doorway. Right. I better go then, didn't I? Um, so uh, thanks for tuning in, uh, you people, you lovely people. Probably only going to play this a couple more times. It's it's not um. Here is the full. Here's the full version of that amazing song uh, from the thing, the musical. Um, if you want to see the interviews with the cast and crew, check out my special stream on it. Uh, it's on the channel. <laughs> Thank you. 